what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is liza i do a lot of furniture makeovers diys home decor and more um this video here is going to be showing you how i stenciled and deco ponched this crib if you haven't seen the makeover to that video it'll be linked in the i cards right above you can watch that video right after this one i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and share it would help out my channel a lot and let's get right into it so i got these really cool stencils from amazon and what i'm doing here is i'm just measuring out the width of each letter so i kind of can get an idea as to how much surface space i'm going to use um, so again, I wanted to make sure that this came out perfectly because this was the first time I've, I've ever done anything like this. And if you guys are interested in these stencils, I will be putting a link in the description box down below so you guys can take a look and purchase these if you're interested. And now that I got my dimensions for the width of the name, I'm just going to find my center in the crib and work from there just to find out exactly how much space I'm going to leave on both ends. And I find that this was the perfect way for me to get my center. I didn't have a stencil brush, like a stippling brush. From like the research and everything that I have seen online it's it's they claim that it's best to use a flat brush um, and that helps so that you don't get any bleed through um, around the stenciling but I did use the zebra round brush and I, to me this works really well I, I did have some cleanup but nothing is gonna be perfect especially when you're stenciling so again, I'll leave a link to this brush down below as well if you guys are interested. And this is a really, really good brush, even to just use for painting. I highly, highly recommend it. I cannot stress how much stress and anxiety I had at doing this first letter because again this was my very first time doing this and it I worked so hard on a painting of this piece and I wanted to make sure that this came out really really well and nothing came out messed up because then I would have to pretty much sand it down and repaint it so i was so nervous and once i pulled off this stenciling and i saw this a and how perfect and pretty and beautiful this was you guys don't understand how excited i was for that um with the stenciling you will have some pieces that you will have to fill in and what i did was just use an old makeup brush um, and use that to fill in those spots and to just kind of fill in any spots on the letters that were light and pink de poesías, cuentos, mi amor, yeah. el amor es tan corto, olvidarte, no, no, yeah. los dos amamos de más, enamorado de tu mirar y tú de otra, porque eres así, ya sé, bebé, no sientes lo
Okay, I would recommend wearing gloves. I realized how messy my fingers were after the first letter. So I just throw on some gloves. You also want to make sure that the first letter that you stencil is dry before you move on to the next. So I waited about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, I didn't use too much paint when I stenciled, so I didn't have to wait long. You don't want to use too much paint when you're stenciling because that can also cause the paint to go through the um, stencil and then you have like the bleed through. So I didn't use so much paint, I waited for it to dry and I moved on to the next letter. I didn't use much paint for the stenciling as you can see this is how much paint I started out with pretty much and I didn't use not even a fourth of this um, I did touch uh oh the boss is calling me okay I'm back so as I was saying with the stenciling you don't need a lot of paint there's a little bit of paint here that I have on this plate I barely used any of it what you want to do is you want to dip the paint in the you want to dip the brush in the paint and then you just want to dab the excess paint off of the brush and then stencil I let this sit and dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and once it was done I just grabbed a 320 grit sanding paper and just sanded everything down because it did have some texture from the stippling motion of the brush then once I was done doing that I just took more of the pink paint and then just cleaned up my edges Right, so a little backstory on this project this whole process wasn't planned it wasn't like a part of my initial plan when I decided to make over this crib for my friends it was just more of an 
afterthought i really wanted to add something special to this this is you know her first baby she wanted a girl and she ended up having a girl and i really really wanted to make this as special as possible so very last minute and thank goodness for amazon because this came in two days and i was able to finish it before she gave birth but i really really wanted to do something special and came up with this idea so i was lucky to find tissue paper just regular tissue paper that matched the crib i will be linking the tissue paper down below in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing this but again what i'm showing you guys here is what i did was i just cut out the different flowers that i wanted to add to the piece and just remove the extra ply so that i just have that one ply of the the flowers and then i took my mod podge which was in a matte finish because the paint that i used was a matte and i did want the the crib to have a matte finish at the very end so i just added the mod podge to where i wanted it on the crib and then just added the tissue paper on top and then once I placed the tissue paper on top, I added the Mod Podge on top of that just to add an extra layer. So it does look like I'm moving very very fast while I'm doing this process but this is sped up for the video purposes. This did take me a while and the reason why I took my time with this is because I didn't want any creases or wrinkles in the tissue paper. You will have some, I mean that is inevitable but I wanted to try and minimize the amount of creases and wrinkles as much as possible. So I did work in small sections and I just tried to you know lightly add some pressure to it to just minimize the wrinkles If you guys made it this far into the video, please leave a flower emoji down in the comment section below.
now with the rest of it all i did was just pretty much just play around with it i wanted to have both sides as equally spaced out as much as i can without making it look as if one side was heavier than the other i think i did pretty well with it let me know what you guys think if you like this video so far please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i really 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 love the way that this came out and i hope that you guys do she absolutely loved this crib and this is just one of the projects that i'm just so proud of and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i see you guys on the next one